they were again allowed to reopen starting today, subject to additional guidelines. Let's get more on that story with Dale De Vera. He's joining us live from Bacoor, Cavite. Dale, what's the latest? Just despite being placed under general community quarantine, Cavite decided to issue stricter, stricter guidelines for malls after most of them failed in implementing post-ECQ measures over the weekend. The Cavite LGU ordered the closure of all malls uh, on Monday but recalled the order earlier today. Under the amended guidelines which Cavite Governor John Vicremulia issued on Tuesday morning, mall hours will be set from 10 in the morning till 5 in the afternoon with only one entrance and one exit doors. Social distancing should strictly be observed inside and outside of their establishment. Uh, quarantine passes will be required to enter the mall, meaning certificates of employment and company IDs will not be honored as well as travel and transit passes. A quota will be imposed on the number of people inside the mall and a time card will be given with a maximum of one hour except when inside the supermarket. Public announcement or PA system will not be allowed so people will not enjoy much inside the mall. Intertown mall goers will not be allowed as well. This means if a person lives in Das Marinas, he is only allowed to go to a mall in his city. No crossing over. Exemptions will be given to residents of Cavite City, Noveleta, and Cawit who may go to a mall in Rosario. Residents of Mendez, Alfonso, Amadeo, Magallanes, and Barangay Cabangaan in Silang may buy their essentials in Tagaytay City. While those who live in, Cavi uh, in GMA Cavite may go to a mall in Carmona. Entry and exit points to the mall should be controlled. Supermarkets, food shops, drug stores, and hardware stores with own entrance and exits will have to let their customers pass through the main entrance and exits of the mall. Some residents of Cavite agree with Remulia's decision, saying it is better this way than to see a spike in the number of COVID-19 cases in the province. Just while Cavite may seem to have been strict with the mall policy, checkpoints in its city border has also tightened. Uh, but compared to previous weeks, we are seeing longer lines of cars and uh, more people in the streets. Also, uh, perha uh, perhaps a bit of a good news for the people of Cavite, uh, Governor Remulia said that if the mall policy will be followed, he might think of lifting the liquor ban in the province. Jess? All right, thank you for those updates. That was Dale De Vera reporting to us live from Bacoor, Cavite. Now here are other stories to watch out for later on The Big Story. The number of COVID-19 infections in the country is nearing the 13,000 mark after the health department once again recorded more than 200 new cases. Death toll now stands at 837, while a total of 2,843 patients have now recovered from the disease. Around 100,000 vehicles now ply EDSA every day since the start of the modified enhanced community quarantine. That's around seven times more than the number of vehicles during the ECQ. And a pharmaceutical company based in Massachusetts claims its experimental vaccine against COVID-19 showed promising test results. For more updates, follow News 5, the Philippine Star and Business World Online. I'm Jess De Los Santos. We are One News.